I love to just like get the get the hardness out yes. by just you know banging it on the sidewalk. Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm at the Billy Studio today, and I shot with my friend Lauren, who is a soloist at Los Angeles Ballet. She uses the wine glass maker, which I really enjoy. These are custom, obviously, has your name on it. What's your custom? Oh, it's three quarter? No, I just get the back nail removed. Oh, if you look at a freed, it comes apart really easily. Normally, there's a nail that like puts it all together. You can take out that nail if you want. Mm -hmm. You have it custom. I have it custom taken out. The other thing that has been a real game changer is the Fortiflex sole, <laughs> yes. which I'm just in love with. The material that they use in the shank is a little denser, right? It's a yeah. harder shank. And it's flatter. So you can really feel like your foot on the floor and feel really grounded mm -hmm. when you're standing rather than that like wobbly centerpiece. Yes. So you get a brand new pair of point shoes. Mm -hmm. You bend it before you even do anything. I bend it. I'll press the box down, mm -hmm. you know, just to flatten it. I'll, you know, bang it against the floor. I'll spare you that. But <laughs> <laughs> right away I get extra glue in the tips mm -hmm. just to automatically make them harder. So I usually will do like one bar to like soften it up mm -hmm. and then I'll put hot stuff in mm -hmm. which I prefer hot stuff to jet glue really I just think it's like a thicker consistency to break in my shoes I I just do this mm, <laughs> you nice. know just to get it yeah get it loose before I even put it on so I like the hardness in the ball of your foot and then the flexibility in my arch so yes. that I can really articulate through my demi point most professional dancers that have strong feet you really don't need a whole a lot of shank yeah because they're kind of like using their own foot muscles mm -hmm. I find that dancers that are in training though they need that support in the back if you're not strong enough in your feet that might not be the best idea I like the way that she darns as well she gets her platform at a 90 degree angle so it's completely flat but she darns at the top of her point shoe and not at the bottom. I don't like the satin on the tip mm -hmm. because I feel like sometimes it can get slippery. Yes. So I cut that off like all the way down to this ah. um, sole. And then I just darn in like a U shape around. Uh -huh. The darning doesn't interfere with how I roll up to the to the point. It's more serves as like a stopping point. That makes sense. For both sense. me and I actually started doing it when I started like partnering more. Mm -hmm. So it really really helps my partner know exactly where I wow. need to be on point. The darning trick is really helpful for everyone, but you have to kind of understand how you are. So some dancers I know only darn on the bottom mm -hmm. because they want to feel when they get over that edge and they don't want to fall back. Right. Some dancers like the roll through, so they won't darn this at all. And some dancers will darn all the way around and maybe go double in certain areas. Yeah. So if you know that you either bevel or sickle and you want to push to the other direction, then you can darn heavier on one side over the other. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on the individual tendencies of what you do on point. Definitely. So you can kind of tell like what a ballerina does on point by the way that she darns her point shoes. Yeah. You like the roll through, but you go over too far sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you, you use that as a stopping mechanism. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you danced in a point sheet that wasn't darned? Oof. Maybe two years ago. So you really can tell the difference yeah. when it's not. Yeah. It looks like you don't darn that heavily. No, just one thin layer around. But that's enough so yeah. that you can kind of feel the difference. So this is what I usually use to darn the white. Okay, so it's not that thick. No. So you use very minimal stuff. Mm -hmm. So then I'll start at the bottom corner and I just put it through just the satin, pull it through, just loop and pull and that's it. And then I just go all the way around the shoe. This is my favorite like like rehearsal activity, you know, I if like another it. cast is going yeah. or something, I'll just, you know, just be sewing pairs and pairs of point shoes on the side. So that's all you really do then. You just break it in, jet glue a bit after first class, and then you just go around the top edge. She also uses paper towels instead of toe pads. So one of like my biggest pet peeves was like the foot smell mm -hmm. of the ouch pouch. Yeah. I just 
I don't know, just something about it. I couldn't deal with the smell. That's so funny. Yeah. So I started using paper towels. Yeah. And I don't have to deal with that foot smelliness anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty sanitary. I'll use like three of these like thin ones per foot and mm -hmm. then usually change them out like after class. Okay. These are just like the, Any paper you know, towel. commercial ones they have at um, the ballet. But the best store brand paper towel I've found is Viva brand. Really? It's like they're really soft. Mm. So they're like pillows. Only a ballerina <laughs> would describe paper towels as pillows. Yeah. <laughs> so I do the crisscross. Um, yeah. Elastic. And then you sew your ribbon and your elastic in the same Together, place. Together, yeah. Beautiful. So both of these things are pulling up my arch. Yes. Um, and then this pulls up my heel. Yes. A lot of people ask me where they should sew their ribbons from the elastic. It usually, the ribbon should go right where your the highest part of your arch is when you're pointing. Yeah. Again, that's different for everybody where the arch is. So it'll yeah. be different where you sew. Yeah. I, I don't know why I got into this habit of tucking this through and I, I feel like it kind of makes the ribbon stay. She's pretty happy with her pointers, which is actually really rare. A lot of people don't really get to that point where they're absolutely in love with their point shoes, but she totally is. When did you come to this place? Probably last year. It's been like, like years in yeah. the making of finding the perfect specs. And it is, is it perfect? Yeah, now it is. Now I, wow. I think I'm done.